What's going on, Blue Devil Nation? It's Robert McDermott here with Fatty Awadala, and we have a special guest here, Lonnie All Good, and he just gave a really touching speech in uh, the auditorium. We had a nice um, assembly on it, and we're going to ask him a couple questions now. Yeah, Hi, Mr. All Good, uh, can you just give us a brief background of, uh, of yourself? Sure. Uh, I was born in Raleigh, North Carolina, went to school there, then moved up to New Jersey, went to Red Bank Regional High School. After that, uh, play, been playing football the whole time and um, got a, a scholarship to Syracuse University where I graduated and got drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, tore one knee, they, they sent me to the New Orleans Saints, tore my other knee, and they sent me to the Buffalo Bills. And I ended my career, ended after six years. And uh, now my whole focus is, uh, I have one company called Dreams for Kids, I have another company called Pros for Kids, and my Dreams for Kids program is why I'm here today. Uh, it's a nonprofit. we're going to be doing an NFL basketball game here in a couple weeks, and we'll, we want to invite all the kids out to enjoy the evening, meet 10 NFL guys who are heroes in my book because they're alcohol, drug, cigarette free, and college educated. And those are the kind of men I want around our young people. And that's what Dreams for Kids is all about, making kids better from the inside out. Um, making communities better because we come and uh, put on the right events and the last thing is let every kid know they need to chase their dreams. Yes. Now you said during your speech that your, your, your mother and your grandmother uh, inspired you to be this person that you are today. Where do you think you would be without them? Well, because uh, my father was not a good role model because he, he did drugs, he drank, and uh, he was very violent. Was just a, unfortunately, he was a black man in the South with no education, didn't have any opportunities. We had nine kids running around, and uh, I guess he was overwhelmed. So if my mother and my grandmother weren't grounded um, in principle of respect, of love, um, I could have easily have copied what he was because I had two other brothers, and unfortunately, they ended up being like my dad. They both went to prison. They both got involved with drugs and drinking. Um, so I saw a path where they were going, and um, if they followed, in my house I had two role models. My father was one type, my mother and my grandmother were another type. And I made a decision that I wanted this dream of football, and I had enough people around me telling me that I could be great at that, as well as be a great young man, and I decided to follow that. So, and one of the things I talked to the kids about today is, who are you listening to? Um, whether it's on radio, music, in schools, on teams, friends, neighborhood. The key thing is that who you listen to will decide what direction you're going to take in life. And um, I had enough people around me telling me that if I listened to them, that I could be great. And that was my whole mission. Uh, during your presentation, you mentioned how your grandma, I believe it was, she took away one year of you not playing football. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, in that meantime, what did you do? Uh, well, the first thing is that uh, my, my mother believed no matter how poor we were, that uh, rules are rules because love and respect is free. So there's no cost about how much money you have in the bank, or what kind of clothes you wear, or where you live, or what kind of car you drive, or what house you live in. Your character is who you are. So I wanted every kid to understand that today, that first of all, there's only one line of all good on the planet that makes me special. And I really want to end bullying. I want to end the way we treat each other. And, um, and use love as a way to get to everybody. In the evenings, I would have to go to church. We went to church four or five times a week anyway. But I, have to, I would have to do community projects, do stuff around the community to give back. And my mother loved to use the phrase, pay it forward, which meant help someone that needs help before you need help. That way you always have friends. Do you want to open up your own? Did I open it up? Yes. Um, and that came about mainly through really my church stuff and my mother's stuff. Uh, when she told me I was blessed, go bless somebody else. I started out with pros for kids, which, which is a money-making business. And she finally said, you know, what are you doing? You should be giving back. And then, and when I was going to schools, I was raising money for Project Graduation, which you seem to talk about today. And that's how I started 12 years ago, raising money for Project Graduation, because they need so much money for that one night. And having all my athletes be alcohol, drug, and cigarette free, I would work with drug alliances and helping that, that project out. And what I found out was that as I went through the business side of it, they said if you're, you're working with nonprofits like schools, you need to be a nonprofit. That way there's more grants out there for you, there's money out there for you that you can use for scholarships. Um, there's ways that people will, can donate to your cause if they believe in what you're doing. And of course I didn't know that, I didn't understand it. And I had, in the NFL I had worked with the United Way for years. 
but didn't really understand it. I was just kind of doing it because I was brought up to do it kind of thing. But I didn't understand what a nonprofit really was. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's all for the interview. Is there any last thing you want to say to the students? Uh, basically, uh, hopefully we'll see you on April 8th. You'll come out and have a great time. Uh, enjoy the night. Meet the great athletes that are going to be coming out. Um, help the cause that where because uh, the money's going to be going going to be donated to uh, your football, baseball program, and then your National Honor Society for all, all the kids who are doing well in school. And the last thing is help treat your kids because I'll be giving out scholarships at the end of the year. We'll be coming back at the end of the year and I'll be giving out two scholarships at your senior banquet, which everybody will know as of today. So those are the kind of things I do. So I just want to thank you for giving me some time to, to speak to you guys today and for your school to team up with Dreams for Kids and that we can go to your community and have a great time. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. Thank you.